more second, bro. Oh my God, Kyle. And back into the top five, and they're waiting to find out who is going to drop down. Is it able to come out on top in that engagement? So Seattle still in current control of this HP, but Clayster hits a route, only able to take down one. It's going to at least allow a little bit of more time for his teammates to still work for this break. Yeah, 04, though, off of his off spawn, hits the cutoff. That, again, provides a little bit of time and space for Seattle to get back into the hard point. Next hit attempt here for Carolina. Just going to be three members strong. you got a player in Gwyn already on rotation. That was the big thing yesterday we noticed. He had a ton of hill time. Pulls up the hitter on the back. All four dead. Carolina reset up. And that's the difference so far in this game. The last time that they matched up, Clayster sat at a point eight overall in that series. An eight and three start on five in a row. Cannot pick up that cruise missile. But Carolina have taken the lead by a little bit. With only 30 seconds left, Seattle are rallying the troops. Whoa. Trying to hit up the water. Staff's foot. This is another young man who had himself one hell of a day yesterday. Felony trying to continue that pace. The patience is just so good for Carolina. TJ pushes the envelope forward. And that results in what will be essentially aid proof everything proof. Gwyn holding it down, just trying to see who's going to challenge first. Who gives his offer? Not able to find the lineup, but still, Carolina hold the numbers, and the final kill goes their way. Yeah, they get all four kills. Now the final 30 potentially going to be theirs. And if you are Seattle Surge, we talked about it all throughout the major three qualifiers. They are always in the game, but the thing that they struggle with is simply the sling in hard point. You have to try to figure out how to do. Where's one in P3? Yeah, I'm going to hit old and go around open, bro. Yeah, nothing's in our blue yet. I'm helping you old. I don't know where he was at. Open, open, open. He went down open. I'm shallow, 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 shallow. He's curved. Shallow, open. Don't shallow, shallow. Don't shallow. Shallow, 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 shallow. Shallow,
100%. So it kind of feels like shoes on the end. And now Carolina have to work out of their oh, base. Oh, goodness. Now <laughs> Ford just right through the metal piping, able to find another odd felony in his safe, which should be his safe to hide windows. Brezzi also through mid map, just again, no routes available at all for Carolina. And that was, I think, the worry, I think, for a lot of Carolina fans. It's like, hey, we really only have one good control map. Yep. That gets vetoed against you. What do we do? And it's difficult because you played Seattle four weeks ago. You were able to play Karachi in that series, and you blew them out the water. So yeah. Seattle Surge, they didn't want to test their map pool and play an invasion. They said, no, we're going to get rid of Karachi. You're going to put the place in Carolina's hands. And now they have to try to find some success on high rise. Three kills do go in favor of them, so they're able to work out of their base, but there's only 35 seconds yeah. left. You have to earn some segments. This hit has to find success for Carolina. The life count really isn't as bad oh. as you would think, and Felony taking care of Prezi now gives an opportunity for the Ravens to possibly even stack over this direction. Uh -oh. 04 caught with the pistol out on sprint. Out of their spawn once again. All the kills in the feed currently in favor of the surge, but... 49 seconds left. You completed four segments. You can work your way out to give yourself one more opportunity. Yeah. That might be it. We also have a 12v8 situation, so lives are starting to dwindle on both sides. Obviously more comfortable, though, for Seattle to find one kill, but with only 10 seconds left, final push here for Carolina. Yeah. And 04 just holds that front door at blue. Abuza waiting for someone to cross into his line of sight. Hook tested over at mid, though. That may turn the focus here for Seattle. Follow-up elimination good from Hook. That will get them a look over towards the B zone. Fellow trying to hold on to the alley, but shut down as Hook now steps forward into mid, taking three in a row. And with that, Seattle making progress on B. And you can just see the team right there on full display for Surge. Abuza putting down a couple of shots. He's used to take away. 13 seconds left to play. Hook, backside alley. Not a clean look over towards Clayster. Numbers are still decent, though. Seattle can stay on the zone thanks to 04. Second to progress, about to be locked. Here comes TJ from behind, though. Able to find the first clean lane, but 04 takes him out of commission. And there's going to be an extra 60 seconds in West Nates. Not a full spawn trap, but still, Seattle putting out a bit of punish over to the windows of Carolina. And it's very difficult to work out of your spawn. At least you do have one player in Gwyn trying to finesse through bottom pit. Finds a kill onto Abuza, and now is as well. Two trophy systems on as well, so these nades are not going to land this time. Three players fall. Abuza would have to run and run quickly if he wants to try to contest this. He does get there in the nick of time. The rest of Seattle start to flood forward. Quinn for one, but they can't get the pointer off the zone. Oh. 7v6 in Seattle. Thanks to the heroics and the slide. Crossfire shots also in play here for Surge. TJ. This route could potentially blow up this play wide open. First one good, second one easy. Last player left is Brezzi on the zone. Pistol will work out for TJ as Brezzi had too much to look at. Yeah, what was he looking at right there? Because he just works his way out through bottom blue. Single-handedly shuts down that pressure over at that A point. And now you're just trying to be up in their face, making it way more difficult for them to work their way out of spawn. And that time is starting to get away from Shin is already there, but you've got a minute 50 here if you're Seattle. Oh! Luke, winning gunfights with Renetti. Quick trade out. Everything again. Reset. Yeah, it's a big kill right there from Carolina because they knew we take care of Hook. Everyone else is off the respawn. Unfortunately, right there for TJ, he wasn't planning on jumping off of the map. So a free first blood there for Brezzi. As now they work their way over towards that A objective. You do have a route being hit by Gwyn, but you eventually got to get in that play. First segment about to be done. Oh, but Prezi gets a little bit Spain gunfights with that MC. But the kills will go the way of Carolina. Team kill forced out as a boost. damage is very significant. Gunfight towards Gwyn. Not going to work out as Clayster pushes forward, and the teamwork is decent. Prezi working on an early route here. May get a bit behind Carolina. First one good. Transfer better. And now it's just down to finding where the last one is in the form of Fella. Yeah, that's great play for Carolina. Even though Seattle Search have those back spawns, you got to think with Fennelly having that cruise missile might be a potential hit to invest it here. Yeah, you can definitely think about it because with 40 seconds still to fight for, that would give Seattle a chance to turn the edge. 04 try to hit her out. That gets shut down. Now the awareness in terms of where the rest of the surge are positioned will be known. TJ MCW in hand. It allows a little bit more time to be earned here for Carolina. 04 also falls. So not only is the scrap time looking good, but with these numbers and these kills, Carolina will hold a little bit of an edge trying to rotate over to New, but who quick to change that opens things up for Seattle. The fact that he's just able to walk his way up through the Eskies and win an insane gunfight like that. Great plays from Hook, but better plays out of Carolina, finding all the following kills as they get three, make it four in the feed in a row. Now TJ on five in a row, potentially going to earn himself a cruise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let, let me use my. Let, let. I'm using mine. I'm using mine right now. Hurry, hurry. 
One in you, one go in. There, and the numbers continue to dominate for the surge. Now you look over towards Bridge, and Seattle's going to get there first. They already have players off the rotation. You also have players contesting through the top middle side of the map. Just right now, Shoot. Carolina are on the back foot. They cannot find any breathing room. Seattle Surge holding on to the HP. The spawn's so damn far for Carolina. Tax got a hit. You have to work your way in. It's going to be all over. Hook on the pinch, though. Cutting down a lot of this Carolina. Executed by these guys. You get Hook going. He finds himself like a five or six streak. And it was pretty much curtains from there. Shout out to Surge. Ali, who was the MVP of the Surge? Because I felt like Hook was putting the team on his back during the Surge. She was yeah. popping off in the hard point game one. And then Abuza dropping the bombs in that game four. I mean, I feel like you kind of already said...